Adi's been very effective so far in pushing uh, forward amendments or uh, reports on non-discrimination and uh, anti-discrimination. So far on issues around, like for example, counter-terrorism, we've tabled amendments where vulnerable communities, and in particular it's the Muslim uh, community, but people who are also perceived as Muslims, are not unfairly discriminated by counter-terrorism policies. So whilst we understand there's a need for security and protection of EU citizens, we also understand that needs to be balanced with the rights, the fundamental rights that every individual citizen of the EU has. On the issue of migration, I can give you a concrete example where the European Commission put forward a legislative proposal on safe countries. So if you, uh, these were seven, eight uh, countries in the Western Balkans and Turkey, which were going to be designated as safe countries. So if you came from one of those countries to the EU, as an asylum seeker or as a refugee, your application would be fast-tracked and you wouldn't necessarily have all of the same procedural rights and protections as you would if you came from another country. What Adi managed to do was have an amendment put into that legislation that made minorities exempt from that legislation. So in effect, if you are a minority within those countries, the safe countries legislation wouldn't apply to you and you would be protected and you'd be given you know, a full uh, hearing of uh, assessment on your on asylum and on your asylum process and not a fast track application.